Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. My pronouns are she, her, and welcome to my floss tube channel. This is Savory Sewing. You can also find me on Instagram at Savory Sewing if you are so inclined. Uh, floss tube channel is a YouTube channel where folks talk about cross stitch, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I don't have any other crafty goodness besides cross stitch for you, but I do know what's wrong with my sewing machine, so there may be sewing in the future. When I accidentally sewed through my finger, something blah 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 blah, I damaged the bobbin case, and so it wasn't spinning properly like in a perfect circle, and that's what was making the horrible clicking sound. And this very nice gentleman who I swear was like 16 <laughs> at the sewing machine store fixed it for me. Well, he told me what was wrong with it and ordered the part. So when my new bobbin case shows up, sewing will commence again. So, ah, oh, cross stitch, what have we got today? So my last video uh, was short. I have a feeling this video is going to be long, so buckle up. Um, and also we are in a slightly different angle today because there is some lovely Oregon fall sunlight coming through my window here and rather than mess with the ring light and all the other lighting situation, I just decided to rotate a tiny bit and I think it's going to be much better for all of us and the colors and means that there is less precarious cording and whatnot going on in front of me. So with that, um, yeah, let's talk about the cross stitch and then we'll talk about other things. Um, I have one finish, fully finish, and it is actually up here on my shelf already. And this is a free pattern um, by Yasmin's Made with Love called House Divided. Uh, they posted this a few weeks ago um, related to the what's going on in Gaza and I really liked it and the sentiment and so I stitched it. This is just stitched on, I actually don't remember what the fabric is, but it's stitched with cottage garden threads in hugs and kisses, which look at that variegation. So beautiful. And I happen to have this frame, so I finished it and immediately started it, finished it, and immediately framed it um, so that I can have it um, up in my house. Um, I have one other finish from the last two weeks, and here it is. This was a Thanksgiving Day finish. Uh, Thursday the 23rd uh, was American Thanksgiving here in the States, and so I stitched turkeys all day. And look at all those little fat turkeys and their sweater vests. This is called Sweater Vest Weather. It's by Lindy Stitches. It's actually a needle book kit. Um, and so the needle book, this will be, yeah, this will be the front page of the needle book and the back page. Um, look at those turkeys. Very cute. I believe you can still get this on her website and a few other cross stitch shop websites and it comes with all of the all of the finishing supplies to make a nice little needlebook and I stitched it with the called for DMC the exception that this um, this is almost uh, almost al al Auburn by classic color works and then this Lugana uh, was just what was in the kit so very excited about having those little turkeys done The other thing that I worked, okay, so that was, that's all my finishes and fully finishes. Um, it's about to be Christmas ornament stitching season, so I anticipate having more FFOs in the next couple weeks, because I've got some gifts that need to be stitched. So the next thing that I worked on on, Oct on uh, the 13th uh, for some dark October stitching is this pattern. This is Joan Elliott's All, all of... Oh, goodness, I'm sorry, folks. Apparently, I can't say A-L today. All Hollows Eve sampler. Um, I'm stitching this with Stephanie from Frolin Knits. We started it on um, October, Friday the 13th in October, so super extra spooky Halloween stitching day. And this is where I am. So I started with the owl in the middle, because owls, and then I worked my way over, um, and I've got quite a bit done. This is almost one full skein, I think, of 
yeah, this is all I have left. So I'm using this, this is chalkboard um, from uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. And I've used almost the entire skein uh, to stitch with this so far. And so I'm stitching this one over two. This is 36 count earring, also by Forbidden Fiber Co. And the yellow is, I think, called Aspen Glow. It's a Forbidden Fiber Co. yellow from a box. So this is all, all Forbidden Fiber Co. And look how beautiful, look how beautiful this fabric is. I'm a sucker for purple and cream, which if you've watched any, any amount of my videos, you know, so purple fabric. Anyway, it is going to be this big, <laughs> so I've got a ways to go, but I'm pretty happy with that. So we will try to be pulling her out every, every 13th of the month and maybe the 31st of the month for some, um, dark 13 stitching. So excited about that. Yeah, this is all the floss that goes with her. I think there's like seven or eight skeins. So she's gonna need she's gonna need a lot of work. All right, next whip. Um, in my last video, I mentioned that I bought some two kits, or actually about two patterns. I didn't buy the full kits for the Jingle Ball, which is coming up next weekend. So the Jingle Ball is a um, virtual cross stitch treat that is Christmas themed, winter themed, is next week and it starts December 1st. I am recording this December, actually what day is today? Oh, today's the 25th. If this is loaded on the 26th, which is what my plan is and you're watching it on the 26th, you can still buy tickets. Um, but they're closing down ticket sales uh, tomorrow. Um, so you might still be able to join if you're interested and it's a $10 ticket just to, you know, join the festivities and, and be able to buy the exclusive charts and join the stitching rooms and see all the things. Um, you don't actually have to buy anything unless you want to go to a class. So I, this is the only class project that I have worked on. Let's see, which way does this go? And this is where I am. This is by Ink Circles. This is Seas and Greetings. This is the ship's wheel. Um, here's the floss. It's all charted in classic color works. And it's really pretty. And the fabric is Stormy Night. Stormy Nights with an S, I think, by Forbidden Fiber Co. 36 count uh, linen. And I just am really, really happy. And also, I'm also really, really happy with the sunlight over here because it's making everything look really beautiful. So I'll just put my head in the shadow and let you guys see the see the beautiful colors of that, that floss and linen together. So I'm hoping to get this finished by the time the class is, which I think I've signed up for like the Saturday night class. Um, I think it'll be like seven o'clock here in Oregon, but yeah, excited about that. I don't think it'll take me too much longer to finish it. It's just the rest of the ship's wheel and some more, um, of, uh, the seaweed and those little pink flowers. So excited about that. All right. Next whip. I, you've seen her before. You know her, you love her. She is the Dark Queen of the Earth. I feel like she needs a name. I have to think about that. Anyway, here she is in her beauty. Um, I finished her feet. So I had a little, just a little bit left last time I showed her. Um, and so I think I was missing one of the greens. It had gotten repurposed into another project. And so um, I had found that and I finished all of these little leafy things and her tree trunk feet. Um, and you'll be happy to know I have, I've made a decision about the face. Um, I'm going to put a picture, maybe a couple pictures here. I saw some, I, w I went, basically what I did is I went through the Instagram hashtag to the best of my ability. Cause y'all know Instagram hashtags don't work like they should anymore. I'm just going to hold her up here while I talk at you. So you have something pretty to look at. Uh, and oh, she's so pretty. Okay. Putting her down. Because there should, should, well, should also be pictures here now. Um, and somebody had taken like the alternative face and done some, uh, and then like eyes from something else or something else or something else. So I will, I will put pictures in and, and, and link or, you know, put the name of the person I thought. So what I'm going to do, I think first is start with the alternative face, like from the bottom up, because I like the shape of her jawline. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing to say. Um, I like the hair from the, the face, like the green face. I don't really, and I don't think I'm going to do the horns. 
So, but what, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with her chin, work my way up, and then decide as I go. Because I think, I think I want her to have a lot of hair. Um, I don't really like the brown skin hair design. Um, it's just not enough hair. And I think it will look nice to have more of that red-pink color up, up higher to balance it out. I don't know. You'll see. Hopefully by, hopefully by next time. So it's Saturday. Usually I stitch on Dark Queen on Saturday, um, and I haven't touched her yet today. Um, so by the time I film again, there will have been two, possibly three Saturdays of stitching. So hopefully there'll be something exciting for folks to see. Um, not that her feet aren't lovely. I don't know. I'm not going to kink shame here, but <laughs> if, you're, if you're into tree trunk feet, more power to you. Um, but maybe there'll be more exciting bits, a face, a face to see next time. And she won't just be a headless dark queen. All right. And then my last whip is this one. I really love this. Um, I will say I still hate stitching the border, but oh, you all know that Dark Queen is Autumn Lane Stitchery and she stitched with all the calls for. She is. I'm not, I'm not picking her back up. All right. <laughs> uh, you'd think after th two days off from work, I would be like more like calm and put together, but I'm not. I'm just, it is what it is. All right, next piece, next whip is this one. This is the Starry Moth by uh, the Blue Flower. This is from Just Cross Stitch Magazine, the October 2023 issue, the one that just came out. Uh, and it's really, I really like it. I um, think since the last time I worked more on the border, I filled in more of this wing and I did, these are, are they Algerian eyelets? Yeah, I put the Algerian eyelets on that side of the wing, which were way easier than I thought they were going to be. I don't know why I thought they were going to be hard, but they weren't. So I'm hoping to get this done. I don't think I'm going to get this done this year. It's a stretch goal. I have a lot of, ho of holiday stitching ahead of me, and I think she's just going to get put away. But look how beautiful she is. So she stitched with all the call for DMC, and this is another piece of 36 count Erie by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, and I just picked a bit that didn't have any of the green in it. It was mainly purple, which was in the spirit of the fabric that was called for in the pack. So yeah, those are all my whips. Um, I feel like I had more, but that was only like four or five. I guess I had a start and a finish and Dark Queen was a lot. Um, I do have two more new starts. Actually, I have three more new starts. All right, that, that's why <laughs> that's why the whip pile is small, because the rest of them are in the new start pile. All right, excuse the reach. Oop, as the rulers fall. All right, so the first one that I started, um, I'm going to put a picture in here because I only have a PDF of this one. Uh, this is The Third Day of Christmas by Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, and I got a, quite a bit done on this one, or, um, which I'm very happy about. So there it is. Um, I started I started in the middle, so that was that, that like green leaf there. And then I went over and did the Noel, I did the border, I started on the bird. Um, this is actually going way quicker than I thought because I only spent I started it on I think November 12th. I think I started it the day I uploaded my last floss tooth because I was just I needed a new start. Uh, and then I worked on it last night a little bit because today, Saturday the 25th, was, which is when I usually work on Christmas stuff, um, I have something else to work on that you'll see in a minute. So I'm pretty excited about this. If I can get three of these done this year, I will be very, very happy. I own four of the patterns. I've, I've put off buying the other, I think there's nine out. The rest of the ones that are out because I wanted to get the, four, the, the ones I already own done and I own the first four. So if I can get the first three done. I will feel very good about myself. Um, I mean, there's still six more available. <laughs> so maybe, maybe my self-esteem is not going to be that high, but very excited to have this started. And I'm really loving that blue chicken. I did not think that I was going to love that blue chicken as much as I am because I was like, eh, chickens. I love that blue chicken. All right. <laughs> That's enough of this. So this is the only, this is the only holiday, Christ well, Christmas holiday. I celebrate Christmas. Um, not like super religious Christmas, but you know, all the rest of it. Uh, so I'm very excited about, 
about that chicken. All right, my other, so I have one more um, new start, or two more, I've got two more new starts. Um, this one is by Yasmin's Made with Love. It's called Stitchers uh, for Peace, and you can get it from her if you make a donation to a um, Palestinian Children's Relief organization called, actually, hang on, let me, let me get this correct, uh, the PCRF, which is the Palestine, Palestine Children's Relief Fund. Okay, so I was right. And so I made a, I made a donation and I started this on Thanksgiving day. After I finished stitching my turkeys, I switched over to this pattern and this is where I am. It is a beautiful piece. Um, I'm stitching this. This is 32 count vintage country mocha and I'm stitching with the call for DMC. Now you can see, you can see my beautiful kitted up <laughs> um, Ziploc bag right here of my floss colors. Um, again, my sewing machine is broken. I can't make any project bags. My project bag stash is done. Um, I know y'all aren't judging me because everyone, everyone's got a project in a Ziploc bag somewhere, I'm sure. But anyway, that takes away from the message behind this piece. Um, you know, she designed this, you know, I think like a lot of us, when we can't do anything, we turn to crafting um, to get out our frustrations. And we also call our Congress folks. Um, but a number of folks have stitched this on Instagram. Um, you can follow the hashtag, which I think is hashtag stitchers for peace and see more beautiful versions of this. Um, yeah, very excited to have that started and add that to my, my little collection of craftivism cross stitch. All right, I have one more new start, which is also living in a random selection of bags and it is behind my laptop here so I'm gonna just stand up real quick and grab a Ziploc, my giant Ziploc bag of cross stitch and someday when my sewing machine is working I have the fabric picked out for my project bag, so it's gonna go in this um I've just got these beautiful moths and it's a little bit nocturnal I think this fabric is actually called called Nightfall by Sarah Knight for Dashwood Studios and it's really beautiful. Anyway, so here's the pre the pre-stitching preview. Uh, and here's the pattern. So I am stitching this with all right, let me put that over there. Excuse the crinkles. This is Moon Glow by Nora Corbett. I showed this in my last floss tube. I've been enabled by Ali Z is Crafty and Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe to start this. This will be my very first Nora. We're starting it, squeezing it into the end of Nora November, and I started it this morning. Um, such a beautiful pattern. I know Stephanie's already started hers, and Allie is starting hers, I believe, as we speak, because she we were messaging this morning, and she was putting her water lilies and DMC on floss drops and getting ready. And she, if you go, I will, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pictures in of their starts here because we're doing it all on, we I think we're all using the same floss, but we're all using very different fabrics. Um, Stephanie's is a Bestitch Me. That's really, really pretty like blue grays. So photo here. And then Allie made a game time decision this morning or maybe afternoon because she lives on the East Coast and I live on the West Coast and it's still morning here. Uh, to switch from, I can't remember, I think it was Haunted or Haunting, um, to a fabric called, I can't look because my phone's in front of me. Um, actually, hang on, I can look. Photo here. Enjoy the beautiful fabric of her kitted upness. Um, this is from a company called Jackson. Um, hang on. I should have done this better. Jacob Stad, J A K O B S T A D, um, from Jackson Fabric Arts, and Jackson Fabric Arts Arts dyes 
organic hemp fabric, which is kind of cool. Um, and so we are all stitching it on very different things. I'm about to show you mine because it is also completely different than theirs. And honestly, I have the boringest fabric, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let it let it go. Sometimes, sometimes you're just gonna be the the boring one, and I'm cool with that. So. I have a tiny, tiny start because I wanted to have, I wanted to put some stitches in so I could say it was a new start for this video. Um, and there it is. Look at that. There are like, I don't know, 25, 20, 20 stitches. <laughs> it totally counts. This is Olive by Hand Dyed by Rolanda. It is a 28 count linen. Um, I had it in my stash. And so I was pretending to be a responsible purchaser and use something in stash. And so I did. And so far I have stitched just with this one color. So this is um, Hyacinth, which look at that, look at that variegation. I'm hoping, I think I'm gonna bust out both of these colors today to work on um, this project. I am starting, I'm doing, I'm starting from the bottom. I did a bottom center start because I really wanna stitch this beautiful rosy blanket that she's stitching, that she's sitting on. I'm pretty sure Stephanie started up here and I'm not sure where Allie started because I haven't seen her start yet. But look how pretty she is. All right. And I um, I don't know if there's still any left, but uh, Top Knot Stitcher Shop had this whole kit on sale. The um, the fabric, the pattern, no, not the fabric, the, fa the pattern, the embellishment pack, and the, what's the other thing? Oh, the water lilies. These, these bad boys on sale. And um, I shared it on my Instagram and I think we've recruited another stitcher. I think the Peacock stitcher who is Kate or Katie, to double check that, is also going to join us. She's ordered, she she ordered it. So I'm very excited to have enabled her and I hope that, uh, hope to see how she stitches it soon. Uh, oh, she's a new-ish floss tuber that I've recently been starting and she also lives here in Oregon. So I'm excited about that because more folks nearby means more opportunities for stitching in real life. So, all right, here is my beautiful kit. I'm not going to go through all of this, but everything else is living in that bag for now until I get it, until I get my sewing machine up and running and get that project back made, which hopefully will be in the next couple weeks. Um, yeah, so with that, that is all of the actual stitching that's happened. Um, I would like to and the moon glow was the bulk of my haul. I do have a little bit more haul oh, because I also made another poor good, depending on what side of the fence you're on life choice about purchasing another pattern. Um, Olivia the Forest Witch by Bella Filipina. Oh, I do not need to stitch fancy ladies. I do not need this in my life. I could not say no. Look at there. There's an owl, folks. When this was announced, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago on Instagram, I think every single person that I follow reshared this beauty. And I just got worn down. And so I ordered it. And I also ordered the fabric from Fiberlicious, Yummy Fibers. So this is the called for. This is um, it's called Fall Foliage. Oh, beautiful. It's got purple and black. I mean, are you, are you surprised? It is a purple fabric and Elizabeth Savory bought it. Um, super beautiful. And I also purchased, I don't have all of the embellishments because one, two, three stitch was out of them, out of some of them. So they're, they're in my wish list. And then, um, I've got, this is some of the DMC again, it's, it's in this very classy plastic bag, um, with some like ripped up stickers on it. You know, as one does. Um, and I have, I think I have almost all the BMC. I don't have all the embellishments. I'm not super worried about having all the beads and what have you. At this point, she's also not getting started until, I don't know when. So I was thinking she'd be my new year, new start. Um, but that is caveated on a number of things. One is having Dark Queen finished. I don't, Dark Queen needs to get finished. Um, so that's kind of the carrot or the stick. Dark Queen is the stick at this point, which is funny because she's got a lot of twigs on her body, so she's the stick. Maybe, maybe, maybe not funny. Funny. Um, so Dark Queen needs to get finished, at least all the stitching. I'm not hung up on the beading and what have you. I feel like that is a different, that fits a different sort of um, crafty niche. 
Um, so anyway, I was thinking about stitching her on New Year's or New Year's Eve, making her my New Year new start. One, have to finish Dark Queen. The other issue with that is that is that we will not be home on New Year's Eve. I am super excited about this. We are going to Seattle. So I live in, in Oregon. I live about an hour-ish south of Portland. So Seattle's about a three, four hour drive, depending on traffic. Um, we got tickets to see Heart, which I'm super excited about. Heart has a tour together, or this is, you know, Anne and Nancy haven't played together in a couple years, and they're playing at the, I think it's called the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. They're doing a New Year's Eve show with, I always get this wrong, whichever Bonham is the son, Jason or John, I think John was the dad from Led Zeppelin, and Jason is the son, they're going to play together. Um, they play together a lot, and i um, super excited, which means they're going to do some Led Zeppelin covers, which... If you've never seen, so when Led Zeppelin was inducted into the Kennedy Center, Kennedy Center Honors, this has been years now, uh, Hart sang and they did a Led Zeppelin cover. And if I can figure out how to put the link here, I will. I'm not sure I have that power yet. Um, otherwise, it will be a link to the YouTube video in the comment below. And it's not the most high quality like video because I think it's like someone recording off their TV because that's how you watch the Kennedy Center Honors back in the day. Um, because they, you know, they were, that was pre, you know, internet TV. Anyway, fantastic. We are so excited. Um, we also, apparently there will be, you'll be able to see the midnight, the New Year's Eve fireworks from the Space Needle at the concert and very excited about that. So that has nothing to do with cross stitch, but that is why I don't think she's going to be started on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Probably not New Year's Day because we will be driving back from Seattle that day. Um, and I don't know if we'll probably be tired because we'll be up all night and then blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so she will get started sometime. Maybe I'll save her for my birthday. My birthday's in March. Um, and that would give me more time to actually make sure Dark Queen's done. So, but very excited about her and I am, I'm blaming Allie and, and Stephanie for making me stitch this, even though they really had nothing to do with it, but Nora. Nora Corbett's Moon Glow was the, um, was the gateway drug to this. So that's your fault. Mad, not mad. All right. So I also have two more pieces of fabric that came, um, when I ordered fall foliage, I also ordered another piece. This is called Aloe from the Other Side, um, which is also really gorgeous. I had had the Lugana version of this, which is much lighter. Um, the linen takes the dye a lot better because it's uh, natural and Lugana's got some synthetic fibers in it, I believe. And so it doesn't take up the dye is beautiful. But look how gorgeous this is. Like if you, if you were going to stitch uh, Dark Queen of the Earth and hadn't art, you know, couldn't get the, um, I don't know if you can still get, I think it's called Nightshade, which is the green I'm using. Let me grab her. I think this would be an absolutely gorgeous alternative. Um, so yeah, here's Nightshade upside down and then here's aloe from the other side um, it's a little bit more turquoise but honestly I think it would look beautiful with the way, with her dress so anyway if you were gonna start her I would say this is a beautiful choice um, as well and then I also received um, a fabric of the month from um, Forbidden Fiber Co and it's orange very very orange this is called pumpkin patch I mean it's called pumpkin patch so it's orange um, which is lovely. It's very, very orange. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't think I've ever stitched on anything orange. Orange is not my color. I, um, but I think I've got some cute Halloween stuff that would be nice on this. So that is that. So that is all in my haul. I'm looking around at the piles to see what, the, where the next pile is. Um, I think I'm going to talk about, actually, I'm going to go into something haul adjacent and then we'll talk about plants. So, um, it is the Thanksgiving ish holiday still here in the U S and so there's a lot of opportunity for sales. Um, so I would highly recommend that if you go support the small businesses that, uh, you know, add so much value to the cross stitch community, there's a ton of small shops and designers who we all know and love. Um, Starlight Stitchery is my local, air quotes local, l &S, even though they're completely online. Uh, they're having a Black Friday sale. Top Knot Stitcher is having a Black Friday sale. 
Um, who else do I buy from? Uh, Hillside Rookery is having a sale. A lot of the designers have patterns that are on sale. I purchased a few. Um, I purchased from Marumi Miriam from Marumi Crafts. I bought the, my very first design from her. I'm going to pop a picture here. I'm super excited to start stitching this. Um, speaking of Miriam, she also designed this absolutely fantastic pattern for Dee's 20 stitches. Um, Dee's birthday is the 24th of November and they always post their whip parade. So if you haven't gone and watched that, go watch that. Um, and they, um, Miriam designed a pattern in their honor. It's called Defiant the Humble Hawk and you can get this pattern if you buy D a birthday coffee, which I have done. I don't have the pattern in my hands yet because that requires sending another email and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, go go um, watch D's Whip Parade. Uh, buy some patterns from Miriam. And support the Starlight Stitchery because that's my local online needle, work needle workshop. Uh, yeah. Um, I also purchased another pattern. Um, and I'm going to move into plans now. So I stitch Christmas ornaments for one of my nieces and one of my nephews every year. Um, and last year I adapted a Pixel Pixie cross stitch pattern, which I'm, I've talked about a million times on my channel. You guys saw Murray and Murray's Halloween. This year I asked my sister what, what my niece was into. And she sent me a link to a YouTube video of a song, which I am going to um, insert here somehow, or I'm going to put in the description box down below. I think everybody who, one, watches Floss Tube or makes Floss Tube videos should watch this. I had not heard this song before, um, and I really didn't listen to the whole thing until just, like, basically this morning, because my sister had specifically asked for, like, four lines of the song and some fish to be in the... Um, in the pattern. I was just like, oh, it's a song about fish and, and blah, blah, blah. And how lucky are we of all of the fish in the sea? You get to be you and I get to be me. And I was just like, oh, it's a nice song about like being yourself, whatever. That's a great message for a, uh, my niece is going to be six, I think. My sister's also a professor of early childhood ed and special ed. So she's very, She's very good at that stuff. I am, I'm not so much. So I just listen to what she says and do what she says. Anyway. Anyway. So I went and listened to the whole song this morning. And <laughs> the chorus is, why is everybody on the internet so mean? Why is everybody so afraid of what they've never seen? If I was scrolling through and I saw me flopping around and singing my song, I'd say, damn, they're cute and sing along. And how nice is that? I think more folks need to be that way. I was watching, I think it was Cross Stitch the Globe, and Stephanie and Allison were talking about a floss tuber who decided to quit, quit recording because of, you know, just the way the community, the way their experience had been. And I think some of their points were completely valid. I had not been a subscriber to their channel because I had never, I'd never heard of them. Um, prior to them no, deciding to no longer floss tube. And I know that there have been other folks who have just decided that this isn't for them. And I will admit some days I feel that way too. <laughs> Nobody likes to be unsubscribed to. Nobody likes to get mean comments on their floss tubes. Um, I think I, I had my first mean comment the other day and mean is relative. Um, they were just commenting on honestly the fact that I say my pronouns at the beginning of my video. And I was just like, why? Why, why would you, why would you take the time to say that? Just, just unsubscribe or don't subscribe in the first place. And I got a really nice email from someone who watches my channel. I'm not going to name them because I didn't tell them I was going to talk about them. Um, just saying thank you for using pronouns. And I don't plan on quitting. Um, I would also refer back to my rec, my haul recommendations about how I feel about this situation. Um, please go shop at Marumi Crafts. Please go support these 20 stitches. Please go shop at Starlight Stitchery. Um, but at the same, but yeah, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, I am glad that I finally listened to this song. I highly recommend that everyone go listen to this song. 
Um, why, why does everyone, why is everyone on the internet so mean? It's just completely unnecessary. And this actually does have a point um, <laughs> related to cross stitch and plants. Um, so my sister was like, we like this song. Could you make the Christmas ornament related to this? And so I've been looking for fish patterns. And so I, um, there aren't a lot of cute cross stitch fish patterns or that's not true. There are some really cute ones. They just, I need a school of fish, like a bunch of fish. So the one I purchased was this. This is Lindy Stitches. Um, it's called Shining Fish. And I really think the fish on it are really beautiful. Um, I think the whole thing is really beautiful. I, if I wasn't just making a small Christmas ornament for my niece, I actually think recharting the verse to something from this song would be really beautiful. Um, but I don't, I don't have time to do that. And that's not what the ask was. So I'm just going to, um, take some of those little fish and some of those little doodads and, uh, the, the, um, part of the verse that my sister requested and, and make something. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it done. Well, I have to get it done by Christmas. Um, so that is Christmas ornament plan number one. Christmas ornament plan number two is for my nephew who is currently obsessed with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so Forbidden Fiber Co. had um, released a t Ninja Turtle pattern earlier this year and I immediately snapped it up because I was, um, I was perfect for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stitch the whole thing. I'm going to stitch at least one of the turtles, if not all four turtles. The goal is all four, but we're cutting it close here. Aunt Elizabeth is not on her holiday stitching like she should be. Uh, and what I'm thinking of doing is stitching them on perforated paper rather than stitching them um, like as little hoop ornament finishes or little, I don't even know, square finishes or something. I think if I stitch them on perforated paper, they'd be super cute. You could actually get like an olive green colored perforated paper that's 14 count, which I think will be perfect. So, oh, excuse me. I need to get that ordered and get those little dudes stitched. Um, um, in case you were wondering, his favorite Ninja Turtle is Leonardo. So we will start with Leonardo. Um, I fully support that. My favorite Ninja Turtle, and this has nothing based, is, is Raphael because he's the purple Ninja Turtle. Um, sorry, not sorry. Uh, the other holiday stitching plan that I have is my partner's Christmas ornament. And he is getting, <laughs> he's getting this one. This is... Pickle Barrel Designs Christmas Spin 4-Pack, um, and it's got two little stockings on it, and it says, well hung. That's all I'm going to say. And that is what I need to get done probably in the next two weeks. So if all things go well, all of those ornaments will be well on their way to being finished. Oh, my partner's doesn't matter quite so much because I can finish that Christmas Eve, and it'll still be ready for him Christmas morning that has happened before. <laughs> um, the rest of them have to actually get mailed across the country. My, 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 my family lives, I'm the only one who lives on the West coast. Everyone else lives on the East coast or the Midwest. So I need to actually, you know, get that done in a timely manner, which sometimes is problematic. Um, I also wanted, Oh, my other plan is this and hopefully oh, I did cross out my name. My, oh, I crossed out my address already. This is the Evertote Modern Folk Embroidery Roxy Floss. What is it called? 2023 Holiday Countdown Sale. Um, here is some proof. I actually opened it for the first time this morning. I have not touched anything. Here it is, ready to go. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Oh, I just, oh. Um, you can see the, the name of the linen, but honestly, if you haven't already purchased it, um, I don't think you can get it anymore. And apparently I got the 40 count. Surprise! <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. That will get started on the 1st of December. And that is part of the reason why I don't think I'm going to get anything else done is because I would like to think, well, I'm not going to keep up with it. I didn't keep up with it last year. I'd like to keep up with it mostly um, so that it doesn't end up um, languishing. I still, I had, I also had a stretch goal of getting last year's project fully finished and that's not going to happen because I want to make a needle book and my sewing machine is is out of I, out of commission at the moment so but I have a plan for that and I just ordered some wool felt um 
So I'm excited to actually try to get that done. Um, all right, I think that is, that is all the plans. Um, that is all the haul. The other thing, oh, my other, I'm also gonna be going to the Jingle Ball on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, hopefully I will be able to jump into some stitching rooms at some point and probably be purchasing some things because I've already seen, oh, really cute pattern <laughs> I've already seen that I, that I, I think I want. Um, heart, heartstring samplery, um, just released this one. Let me put it here. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a nerdy themed, like spacey sci-fi Christmas thing, Christmas ornament. I, I think they'd be ornaments. Um, that is very, very cute. So, um, right up my alley. So that might be a potential purchase. Um, the other things, oh, I wanted to mention some floss tubers that I have been watching lately. I've been trying to watch new folks. Um, I realized that I go, I feel like floss tube is, is feast or famine. Either I have too much floss tube to watch or I have no floss tube to watch. Um, and I also sometimes need to be in the right mood to watch like particular folks or particular kinds of stitching. Um, I love, I think I, I subscribe to like a hundred different floss tubers and um, sometimes I just want to binge watch, you know, one of them or I'm like, oh, you only stitch X and I'm not really in the mood for X. I want to see all of the whatever. Um, it happens, right? And so, a couple of folks have been really mentioning some new folks that have come along and I'm not, I haven't been stitching very long or well, I've been stitching for a few years, but I haven't floss doing very long. So I'm probably still in the new category, but I always like to watch new folks and like hear new perspectives on, on cross stitch. Like I don't want to see samplers all the time or mirabilia all the time or, oh, I don't even know, uh, full coverage, for example, all the time. I like to see all of the things. So, um, these are the folks that I've been watching this week, and one of them is um, Julie, Julian Stitches, I think 16. Uh, she had started binge watching all of my videos, and so I returned the favor and started binge watching all of hers. She lives in Wisconsin. She has a delightful Midwest accent. I, um, I went to Michigan State and my mom's from Indiana. So I have a soft spot for all things Midwest. Um, even though I now live in the Pacific Northwest and I'm actually originally from the Northeast. So, uh, but a lot of, because my mom was from Indiana, like a, and my most of her family lived in Indiana. Um, you know, a lot of that Midwest is probably like deep within my, deep within my soul. So I like watching her. She stitches um, a lot of uh, craftivism-y sort of pieces, which I really enjoy. And she also stitches a lot of like nature things. And she also stitches teeny tiny things like over one on like 46 count, which is <sighs> good for you. <laughs> good for you. Um, I just discovered the peacock stitcher. I think, uh, I think cross stitch the globe mentioned them. But they also live in Oregon, which is lovely. And they've been enabled to join the Moon Glow South. So I'm super excited about that. She actually stitches, as she says, like there's a lot of peacock patterns. Um, and she stole a story about some neighborhood peacocks. And I think I know what neighborhood you're talking about. Because <laughs> I also used to live in, t in a neighborhood with a wild flock of peacocks. And I know a current neighborhood... Well, it's the same neighborhood. I don't live there anymore. That has a flock of peacocks. So I'm wondering if it's the same peacocks. Um, her name's Kate or Katie. I should, well, I, I did not check between when I started recording and now. So um, anyway, her channel is lovely. Uh, Leah Stitch Corner. She's from the UK. Um, she, I published a video the other day that, that a lot of folks watched about um, how much she spends on cross stitch, was, which was really interesting and how she values or puts a value on different boxes and what have you, which I thought was really nice. Um, I also enjoy watching the folks from the UK and Australia, New Zealand, um, because they, they stitch different things and their perspectives are different and they get different things. So it's nice to see other stuff. Um, she also really likes guinea pigs. Um, 
she stitched a really cute guinea pig card and then I noticed that in the background of her video her I think it's the, the blanket on her bed is covered in, <laughs> covered in guinea pigs which is really adorable um she's also already decorated for Christmas so even though I so I am a I like to compartmentalize my holidays except for Halloween Halloween 365 everything else which drives my family crazy because my sister has been like dying to plan family Christmas events and I'm like we can't talk about that till the Friday after Thanksgiving I have standards it's not the Saturday after Thanksgiving so Christmas is Christmas is allowed um but anyway she's decorated uh I also started watching The Stitching Owl, which, how was I not watching The Stitching Owl from like day one? Because you can't see any owls in this view, but owls. Um, she's very lovely. She has a very, uh, I don't know if the word is precise, but like she speaks very nicely um, and stitches and finishes a whole ton of things. Um, very much enjoy watching her stitch. She also recently put out a video um, where she called out a number of folks who had just started making floss tubes with less than 500 videos. And so I've been slowly going through and watching some of those folks. Um, the other person that I had on my list to start watching because they commented on a video of mine like weeks ago now and I just finally, finally got remembered and got them in my queue is um, Pansy, no, Patchy Pony. And, oh, I apologize. I can't remember what your name is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on, folks. She lives in Tasmania. Um, Patchy Pony Stitcher. And... Mm, let's see, does she have... I don't know. I don't know. Oof. No, you can hear. Sorry, you can hear. I just started that video. Also, can I just say that I hate that Instagram or YouTube auto starts videos? Maybe I can turn that off. I need to figure that out. Mel. Her name is Mel. She lives in Tasmania and um, she has ponies and she stitches lovely things and she's also a Taylor Swift fan. So how can you go wrong? All right. So those are my new floss tubes that I've been watching. Um, you should also go watch Ali Z's Crafty and Cross Stitch the Globe because they are stitching on Moon Glow. Also Frala Knits. Go see her progress on... Um, all Hollows Eve sampler and you know all of the other lovely folks out there who work who are floss tubing and what have you so I think I think that's all I've got I think I talked through all my plans I'm hoping to be back in a couple weeks um, hopefully with some holiday Christmas e stitching done and um, this video I think is already a little bit long so I'm not gonna go into all of like I have other Christmas whips that I'm gonna be pulling out and working on but I, um, I did not plan for that. <laughs> I don't have them out in front of me. So, um, I hope you all are having a nice fall or spring, depending on what part of the world you're living in. And remember that just because you're on the internet doesn't mean you have to be mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's be nice folks. Let's be nice. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks, folks. Bye.